Hi everybody, and welcome to episode 43 of my Valheim Adventures. Hopefully you're enjoying the series so far, and yeah. So, I am doing Valheim with a no portal run. Oh, everything's falling on my head. Yeah, so there's no portals, there's no... Quick get around, we gotta run and do everything together. And for the most part, unless I'm gonna be doing some heavy grinding, I will do it off camera and then I'll just show you as we progress. But for, for the most part, you're with me through my entire adventure. So currently I'm gathering wood so that we can stock up on our coal because I used a lot of our coal in the last video and I'm clearing a path to our bridge which leads to our swamps our swamp farm because in the last video I went and gathered a lot of iron and I managed to build us our iron gear, but now we need to upgrade our iron gear. So we're actually going to head back to the swamp just now. I just wanted to get our charcoal going. Oh, all the trees are suddenly falling here. That was not my plan. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? I know the camera angle was bad, but oh, that was lucky. The log literally rolled over my head. So, you know, that kind of messed my, my path up here. And I didn't bring my wagon because I didn't think I'd go this far. I just wanted to get enough to carry my weight. But, you oh, that was lucky. It's quite a nice little path I've cut out of the forest here. I'm going to obviously dig a road to make it flat for the, the cart. It's easy to get back and forth. I keep saying I'm going to do it, so at one point I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, let's put what I'm carrying in here. It's gonna get just fill on my head. I am in single player mode, so yeah. I may actually rent a server next month, thinking about it. Kind of been waiting for the Ashlands story to come out, but like more information on the Ashlands. I'm definitely going to keep playing. But I want to know about the Ashlands because if you guys remember what happened with the Mistland story, like we could play. But then the maps did not work 100% like they intended if you had a server running before the update. So what I want to do is I want to wait for the Ashlands to go live and then rent the server. Oh, another tree fell over. Well, this is more than enough wood than what I needed. Okay, so let's take this one. I 
I don't like stumps in my path. I see it's becoming night time, so it's actually good that this distracted me. Uh, just because this one's lying down. Okay. Take this back to base. I really actually need that deer. Ah, oh, there we go. I was trying to remember which was the button for putting my gear away. So our base is coming along quite nicely as well. Even though I haven't harvested my boars. Uh, they're breeding. I've stopped harvesting my garden because I've actually got too much at the moment. Same with my bees. It's like... At one point, I couldn't get enough bees, uh, honey. Now I'm sitting there like, hey, you got too much honey. How much resin am I holding? We'll put some onto all my... My little candles. Oh, those are still good. This is our little storeroom. I battled with the roof of that. So I eventually like, ah, oh, no, bugger this. I am going to just round it off like so. Which, it came out pretty good. We have gathered more stones so that we can just continue building our wall. Which I haven't had the chance to do as yet. And this will speed up a little bit of smeltering. Yeah. Uh, I'm just thinking maybe I'm not going to go all the way to the swamp in this video. We might just trouble that road that I keep saying I'm going to build. Uh, this makes more sense. Because I desperately need that road. Firstly, it'll help me find my way back and forth. And it'll give me incentive to build the wall as well, because I need to decide which is going to be like our main entry and exit point. I don't even know that at the moment. I've got that little makeshift bridge. But I need a proper entry and exit point. See? All our boars in here. Looks like they need a few more berries. But I don't think that actually works. But I've been doing that. <laughs> I know that the chickens eat the seeds. But the, I don't think the boars do. And those that remember or were around when I attained them, uh, they were running around my base. Like they literally uh, spawned inside my enclosure that I've dug out. And it's like, hey, we're going to move in here now. Like, okay, cool. Welcome to the family. You'll provide me with meat and hide for the near future. Maybe what I should do is, this was the old line, you can see it here, is dig up to where the forest starts, like, see here. So 
So they aggro on me over here. So maybe here. And then we just flatten this out. Uh, but yeah, let's get the hole. So this is going to be our little road that runs through the forest here. Okay, I'm going to smash out this rock. It's like right in the middle of my road. Uh, not what I wanted. Oh well. Okay, so there's our bridge start point. And we can go around that rock. Okay, our bridge is now on my mini map. I don't want to raise the ground, I want to level the ground. There we go. Sorry, Mr. Rock. Okay, let's start from down below. Like I said, this is just to make us easier to get up and down here. So I definitely do not want to be raising the ground. And I have not cut this way through. I'm actually quite surprised. I haven't needed to like plant forests and stuff as yet. Like to replenish everything I've uh, been knocking down. The spot that I've chosen seems to have had abundance of wood. As you can see, I've, I've been here like a good couple of hours already. And I'm still chopping trees. Uh, how are we on weight? Are we still good on the weight? We seem to still be on track. So let's keep going. Mostly because I do not want to be destroying the berries. This log has to go. That's not a berry bush. That's not a berry bush. What was that one? So as I said, I don't want to actually go up. I want to run flat. So let's start from this side. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works. I pulled out my garden hoe, my cultivator, and I made fertile land. Okay, so how far are we to our bridge point? Okay. We need to go this way a little bit. Okay, 
Yeah, that tree has now got to go. This little guy's got to go. Get the trees in the way. Probably like on my weight limit, yeah. Which is fine because I'll pick it up on the next run through, but I try empty my pocket when I go. Okay. So there is now our. Our bridge. This is going slightly to the left every time. There we go. So now we have a nice little path that takes us to our bridge. Probably brought like a little camp camp spot here. So we can say that hey we're resting. I do that just for the fun of it. That piece is a little bit uneven here. There we go. And I'm gonna fix this piece here. See the way if you got like a slightly bad slant like that one you just go slightly up it and it fixes it like halfway and then it fixes that piece and I'll pretty much do the same thing here so I want to go slightly elevated and then a little bit higher like that Same with this piece. As you can see, it's quite a bit of a lip, so you don't want to have the lips. You want it to be extreme line almost. There we go. Much better. Because the more the cart has to work, the oh, more taxing it is on my stamina drain. So yeah, we now officially have our path, which I've been talking about forever. Now I must decide, am I going to extend the base just a little bit? Just say to about here, where the stone is. Because it'll give me quite a bit of extra land. And then the same... Like I can pretty much go dig up to here I want to say and then we just run oh well we'll see another time we've still got plenty of space I do want to build me a quick a decent cooking area even though my house is fine my house needs to be upgraded Okay, I'm sure these are now finished cooking. Let's put this wood for building. So this is all my building wood. And that's obviously all my building stone. But yeah, yeah, we, we're doing good.
Uh, I just want to see, do I have the advanced bed? Uh, no, I don't. I've only got the standard one. What do I need for this table? I've got all that. I've got plenty of that. So that is like a... If I ever have a friend or something play. Uh, then they can just say to me, where's all your markers? And that can be like, yeah, you just go there. Just go click on that table and you'll unlock everything. Okay, I uh, need bronze, not copper, which is fine. And of course we need the fine wood. And now I just need the berries. We've got berries here. Okay, they're actually ready for harvesting, but let me just grab my berries first. So now we go like this. Let's face it this way. So this basically will record all my explanation as it says there. So now I go there and say record discoveries. Woohoo! Okay, put my berries away. And these are all my stamina potions. I was constantly running out of stamina. So I was like, yeah, we we need potions. A bad hole. I think I've got a poison one that I started making. It's in here. It's one of these. See, this is pretty much just for my my cooking stuff. That's how I want to make it better. Okay, what else we got in my it needs to be put away. Okay, so we don't need so many. Good to have, but we don't need so many. Uh, let's repair. You can actually make very nice table decorations with these potions. But we need to upgrade our base because I'm starting to get crowded in here again. I've never been one for crowdedness. I like my space. Okay. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm going to probably upgrade these guys next I feel we need to give our crafting area a bit of love uh, I must just decide if we're going to keep them where they are there's nothing wrong with where they are <coughs> but I do want to expand we do have those extra cores still So yeah, I shall see everybody in the next video while I ponder this out. Have fun, have a great day, and we shall see you in the next one.